Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Before we start today's episode, I noticed that the new student in the game has a task that we can do for her, and we are going to figure out what that is right now. So let's talk to her, and let's see what this task is. Like, oh my god, I so need a smoke right now. Do you like... Have any ciggies on you? If you could like get me a pack of smokes, I'd so totally be your best friend forever. Oh my god, like Misumi wants me to get her these totally rad cigarettes, okay? Acquire the cigarettes and get them to her. Will you accept this task? Yes! Okay, as you all may know, Infochan has all the hookups, so we are gonna get some panty shots, and then we are gonna request what, a dude? drop of cigarettes. There you go. Hopefully she doesn't see Infochan throw it down there, because I just did. Did she even see that? Well, she's walking into the wall. Of course she didn't see anything. So let's pick these bad boys up, and let's give her these totally awesome cigarettes, bro. Let's talk to her. I can't talk right now. Yeah, because you're walking into a door. There, talk to me now. Oh my god, talk to me. Tell me your name. Damn, okay, I guess I have to wait till after school. There, I found her, I found her, I found her. There we go. Let's complete the task. Oh, we can't complete the task? Okay, so those aren't the cigarettes. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to go on a scavenger hunt. I'll find you cigarettes. I'll find you. Okay, so I just tried her task again and I ended up completing it. I'm gonna do this again and show it to you guys for anyone who had the same problem as I did. So apparently, I was talking to her as she was walking up and you're supposed to wait till she's leaning against the wall like so. So let's get the task from her one more time. Accept it. And then we'll get info chisel to what give me the drop like what? so. And then, as she's still planted against the wall like that, you're supposed to just grab the cigarettes and then give it to her. I guess once she starts walking, the task is unavailable at that point, and then it just completely glitches out. That's what happened to me the first time, and I was wondering, like, why won't she accept my cigarettes? But these are the cigarettes you're supposed to give to her, so let's give it to her. OMG, you are like the best! You just instantly became my BFF! Oh my god, I'm her BFF? Like, I'm gonna cry right now. But anyway, that was the task for the bright and very, very smart Musume-chan, as you guys can tell by her walking into the doorway. Let's get on to the myths. 1. Kill Oka and get her blood in the bucket. 2. Pour that blood on Kakona. 3. While she's running to get clean, fast forward to the end of the day. Will the police arrest her and say her clothes were stained with the blood of Okaruto? I like that! First myth of today's episode is using the grinder. Might as well put it to good use since we're able to use it in the game now. So let's get Oka over here, take her to the grinder, and make some Oka Cola. There she is. Can you follow me, please? And I am gonna bop you over the head with a shovel. No hard feelings though, Oka. I still love you. I'm sorry, I have to be somewhere right now. Yeah, in front of my shovel! <laughs> Okay, let's put Oka in her very, very spiky bed. And then I also need to put the bucket in front. And then we are going to make some Oka Cola. Let's place that. And let's activate that. Let me get all up in that juice. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, we're a few minutes early. Kakona didn't take her phone call yet. So let's teleport to the roof. And we're just going to wait for our main big titty celebrity to get over here. Actually, I need to change my clothes because if I fast forward time, then they're going to see that my uniform is stained with the bloody clothes of Oka's blood. And then I'm going to be the one arrested. Hold on. Let me change my clothes real quick. Go, go, go. It's a race against time. Get clean, yandere chan Okay, I think I can make it. I'm super clutch. All I got to do is throw the uniform inside of the furnace, teleport to the roof, pour that blood on Kakona, and fast forward time. We can do it, girl. Come on. Okay, dump that. And then activate. Yes. Okay, teleport. And then dump the blood on Kakoni. Shit, she's not there anymore. Fuck! Okay, let's do that again. This time I'm gonna be smarter about it. Okay, we have a bucket of Oka Cola. Time to frame Kakoni. Catch it, bitch! There we go. And then let's fast forward time and let's see what happens. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a mysterious blood stain. The teacher decides to call the police. The police arrive at school. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. <laughs> Wonder why. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere-chan but cannot link her to any crimes. 
The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. Wait, what about the blood on Kokona? Isn't that enough evidence? Or at least detain her and ask her how she got all that blood on her. And there chan stalks Senpai until he has returned home safely and then returns to her own home. Wow. The leader of the occult club has gone missing. The occult club cannot operate without its leader. The club disbands. Okay, so I guess if you pour a bucket full of Oka cola on top of Kokona and you fast forward through the day and the police come, they do not arrest her for, you know, having blood all over her uniform. I guess they just brush it off since there's no evidence, there's no weapon, there's no body, there's nothing. So I hope that answers you guys' question. On to the next one. What happens if you put a sleeping body in the shredder? Well, hopefully we can grind that sleeping bitch up! But we are gonna do it right now. My theory is that you can still put them inside of the grinder. We are gonna shred an evil sleeping girl right now. So she's gonna follow me and we're gonna go to the trank room. Hey, Yui, I just wanted to talk to you about this trank in your neck! Yeah, I don't know how that got there. Totally didn't stab ya. Just kidding, I did. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We can't open the door to get out of this tranquilizer room. So we are gonna have to fast forward time because I believe people are inside of the courtyard. And actually, wait, I can actually go there right now because it's not 7.15 yet. So let's pick this body up and then let's go here and let's head on over to that grinder. Okay, we are now here. There is a dumping option. So we are gonna pick her up. And then we're just gonna give her a very grindy, sleepy death. <laughs> so let me grab the bucket. This is so messed up, by the way. I do not approve of this. This is all Yandere Chan's doing. I am simply a mind slave in all of this. She's the one controlling me. So let's place the bucket and then let's grind the sleeping body. Oh man. She was alive too when I put her in there. I mean, any person would have woken up once that spiky stuff started touching their body. But we have sleepy Kool-Aid right in our hands, so that is officially true. You can grind up a sleeping body. On to the next one. 1. Finish the uniform task for Kakona. 2. Ask her to meet you at the rooftop 8 a.m. 3. As soon as she gets there, push her off the ledge. 4. Click offer help. You will talk to the spirit of Kakona while she has a pancake on the floor. Okay, I'm actually gonna do the task right now where we have to adjust the uniform so she can fit it with a big old tatas. And if you guys don't know how that's done, I have another video of me doing the whole task. I don't really feel the need to do it again, like the whole thing. So I'll see you guys once we finish the task. Alrighty then, the myth wants me to push Kakona off the ledge as soon as she gets to the rooftop over here like so. And then I can still offer her help. So she is gonna approach it and then we push her real quick. Have a nice trip, Kakoni! And we should be able to offer her help still, right? Yes, we can! Oh, you're the one who wanted to meet me here? Ghost Kakoni! Your note said that you wanted to talk about domestic abuse? Yeah, I do, but you're all the way yes. down there. Can we see you? I heard you talking Oh shit, with where's her body? Her body's not down there. What oh, the fuck? You've got it all wrong. My father doesn't do anything to me. Okay, we just finished up the combo with Kakona. Is she down there? I don't even know. I don't even see her body. That's crazy. Does it just disappear? Hold on. I'm going to go down there and see if we can see a physical body. No. There's actually no body here. What in the world? That is kind of creepy. You push her off the ledge, offer her help, and now she's gone. There's actually some blood kind of connected to the wall. What Let do you me want, see loser? something real quick. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Shoeless Kakoni is fusing to the wall. Her leg is kicking like she's listening to some EDM music. Let me see if she's actually inside of here. Yes, she's in here. Okay, so Kakona's body is in here. If you push her off the ledge and then offer her help right away, you can talk to the spirit of Kakoni. So that is true. On to the next one. When you kidnap new girl Trump Shark, can you torture her like any other mind slave or can you only record the video? Okay, we are gonna kidnap Trump Shark. I like that name, by the way. <laughs> and we are gonna put her in our basement without the whole loan shark thing. And I can't believe some people in the comments, actually, I should say a lot of people in the comments, didn't get the Ron Shaku joke. It's basically like loan shark, but you're just saying it with the Japanese accent. Kind of like when I say Madori Gorenu! Hey, Misume, just the girl I wanted to tranquilize. I mean, talk to about some things. Can you please follow me? There's a room where we can smoke a whole bunch of cigarettes because I know you love doing that. Okay, we got Trump girl in our hands. We are gonna dump her like it's hot. Then we are gonna fast forward time and let's see if we can torture her or if there's automatically gonna be a camera in the basement. 
Okay, now is the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go into the basement. And there's actually a camera down here, only available at night. She is here blindfolded. Let's see if we can actually torture her. Oh, we can torture her. Good. So we can still torture her, so that answers the question of, you know, can you record her or torture her if you bring her down there? Let me try bringing her sanity to zero and then see what happens after that. Okay, her sanity is at zero, so to answer the question, yes, you can torture Masumi-chan if you bring her to the basement. You don't only have to record, but I want to try out something. I want to see if we bring her to school as a mind slave, if she still has that over her eyes, or if we take it off when we bring her to school. So let me try that. Does she still have the bandana over her head? She doesn't! But yes, that is true. You can kidnap Masumi-chan and torture her. You don't only have to make a ransom video for her. On to the next one. I have a myth. 1. Do the task for Kokona. 2. Listen to her phone call and conversation with Saki. 3. Talk about her dad's loan, blah blah blah. 4. Kill Kokona. 5. Kidnap Masumi, then record a video. Will Kokona appear in the cutscene even though she's dead? I really, really like that one. Hell yes, love that creativity. So I'm gonna have her follow me, then I'm gonna kidnap her, then I'm gonna go find Kokoni, and then I'm gonna cut her up. So Masumi-chan, it is now your turn. Wait, where the fuck? Oh my god, why do you always do this, okay? I'm gonna have to lead you specifically. I'm gonna have to hold your hand like a child. There you go. Come in here. Close the door, and now I'm gonna put your ass to sleep. So let's drag her into the little box of love. And now we are gonna do very, very nasty things to Kakona. And in honor of the new grinder being in the game, we are gonna join the drama Greetings. club just so we can wear the gloves. And then we are gonna push Kakona in there, grind her up into coconut juice, and then we are gonna get away with murder. Easy as that. There you are. Hey, can I talk to you real quick? Can you follow me? No, you can't follow me? Why can't you follow me? Oh, because you need to go to class? Okay, I'll get that ass after class. Don't worry. It is now after school and Kokona will not follow me, probably because she needs to make her damn Octo Dogs. So we're gonna have to revise our strategy instead of putting her in the grinder. I think I might just have to kill her with this! Yes! Okay, nobody's around me, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick her up. Okay, the coast is clear. Nobody can see me. I'm gonna get away with murder Scott. Free baby really, fuck! Nigga? Saki, you saw nothing! Damn it! Well, you know what? I'm gonna kill Saki too! Fuck you, Saki! Uh! Wait, who saw that? Oh, you saw that? Oh, you're gonna get a toe then! Who else saw it? Who else wants some? Fine, everybody's gonna go in the grinder. You first! Get your ass in this grinder! Let's place the bucket here, and then grind that, and now I gotta take care of the other two girls. Wait, why does it say activate again when the other girl is clearly grinded into that soup right there, and Kakona's in my arms? Let me see what happens. You can grind them a second time? Oh, no, you can't. It just grinds and nothing gets grinded. Okay. So, let me dump you. And you're gonna be the second one. And actually, let me test something out. Can I put two bodies in there at once and then grind them both together? You can't put two bodies in the grinder at one time. So, let me put her over here. And then, let me take this bucket. Because I don't think you can grind up Kokona when the bucket is filled. So, take this... And then I'm gonna go dump this bucket out and then replace it. Aren't these girls curious as to why the other three girls aren't sitting across from them? They're just like, huh, I guess we're not eating Octodogs today. All right, time for some coconut juice. And then let me get the other bucket ready so we can get some sake juice all up in this bitch. Actually, the blood from Kokona didn't even go inside the bucket. I wonder if it's like a one-time thing, like the blood only goes with the first body you grind up. But anyway, I found a good name for sake when she gets blended up. Some sake! No? 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 No sake? You know the Japanese alcoholic drink? No? Okay, let me stop. Let's activate this, and let's see if blood goes inside of the buckets. No, it doesn't. Blood does not go inside of the bucket, so I guess it is a one-time thing. I don't even need to empty these out. So let me just place these here, just because I can. And then let's clean up our mess, and then let's go home and see what the police say. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. The teacher sees a corpse and calls the police. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpses of Kokona Haruka and Saki Miyu and Mei Miyo. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere chan but cannot linger to any crimes. Yeah, baby! We did it! The police discover Masumi runs Shaku inside of a musical instrument case. However, she is unable to recall how she got inside the case. The police are unable to determine what happened. Oh, what the fuck? 
The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. Damn! So we can't have Misumi in our basement after we murder Kukona? Let me try that one more time, and I want to make sure that Masumi can't go in our basement if we kill Kokona. Alright, you know what? Fuck this, guys. I'm going to try this a different way, a more efficient way. I'm going to ask her to follow us, then I'm going to trank her, bring her home so I know she's in our basement for sure. Then I'll kill Kokona the next day, then I'll make the ransom video at night. How does that sound? Does that sound like an A-plus plan? Because I think that sounds like an A-plus, plus, 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 plus plan. So now we have her in the box, as you can tell by the floating Zs inside of the instrument case so let's fast forward to tuesday kill kakona then make the ransom video at night and let's see if kakona is in the cutscene or if we're not even able to make a ransom video at all all right kakona can you follow us please because we need to chop you up and grind you into some juice time to put kakona inside of the grinder make some coconut juice and then fast forward through the day and see if we can make that ransom video Okay, I've just done everything to dispose of all the evidence of Kakona's murder. Let's fast forward time and hopefully we don't get caught. Oh, and the text doesn't even have a teacher finding the body. Damn, we cleaned that shit up good. Okay, now we can make our ransom video. Holy shit. Okay, let's record the video. And we're just gonna I, fast forward through this and just see if decision. we can talk to Kakona. My dad just got a phone call. He says his debts have been wiped clean. Alright, so apparently hearing Kakona's voice means she will be in the cutscene, hopefully. But let's Thank just fast you. forward I, and see if she is please. there. I'll be there. Surprise, motherfucker! Yes! Kakona is alive, even after you kill her. You have a nice place, Yanchan. Let me actually fast Thanks. forward time and see if Kakona is at school parents? the next day, or oh, if she's she just here for this cutscene. So Listen to this, guys. I'm fast forwarding it. They sound like little mice. <laughs> okay, now the moment of truth. Is Kakona at school, or was she just there for the cutscene? Nope, I don't see her. Okay guys, so there you have it. If you do the whole Misumi-chan ransom video thing, Kakona will be at your house during the cutscene, but if you killed her previously, then she won't be at school the next day. She's only going to be there for the cutscene. So hopefully that answers your question. On to the last myth of today's episode. 1. Gain Kakona's trust. 2. Do all the stuff you did in the new update. 3. Ask Kakona to come to your house. 4. Spare her. Will she still go crazy over senpai on Wednesday? Ooh, she better not go crazy over my senpai because I won't be afraid to cut a bitch. So we are going to make a whole movie because we're feeling right about it in that 720p, 30 FPS in this bitch. All right, and you guys have seen this before, so we're going to skip through this. Then we're going to have Kakona come to our house. We're not going to choke her from the back, I promise. We are going to spare her, and she better not be lying to us when she says that she will back off our senpai because if she doesn't, I'm going to back that knife and end her life -foo. And actually, just for shits and giggles, I will play you the whole sped up version of the conversation between Kakona and Yandere-chan inside of her house. There goes our senpai. Oh my god, he's so hunky sitting by the fountain. And then Kakoni with her bento. You better not do what I think you're gonna do, or I'm gonna poison the hell out of that bento. Oh, you better sit down and eat that bento for your sake. Oh, there he is. What do you mean there he is? Yeah, there he is. That's mine. That ain't yours. If you go behind that tree and confess your love, oh, I'm gonna confess this poison into your bento. When will you notice how I feel about you? Okay. Okay, okay, motherfucker, here. You want some poison mind. with your bento? Tell Heard it tastes good this time of year. Friday. I hope he accepts my feelings. I hope he accepts my feelings, she said. All right. So she went back on her word, and we're going to go back on our word, and now she's going to choke on those promises that she gave us. Bye, Kakoni. <laughs> but there you guys have it. Kakona is a damn liar. 
She said she will back off a senpai because we helped her dad get out of debt, but she still confessed her love on Wednesday at lunchtime, so we had to poison her bento and teach her a lesson, because that's what a real Yandere does. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!